Hello, this is Soter with GG Chronicle, home of esports news for League of Legends since 2001. Uh, that is not entirely accurate, but what is accurate is everything else I tell you in this Udyr guide. I am playing Udyr, it's a 1900 to you know, 2000 ELO game. We have Atlanta featured on Alistar. We're going to get going right about now. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to play it back. Okay, let us continue. Atlanta's practicing his supporting to go with Ball's bottom lane for Picture of a Goose, which is now MTW North America. Um, we also have Saros on our team, who was incidentally in my last game, and I'll be doing a much longer quirky guide. Uh, this game was short and has a lot of, you know, things that went well, surprisingly enough. Um, we have a little bit of black space here because I wasn't capturing the uh, the loading screen quite yet, uh, but I will go through my runes and masteries in this brief respite. Uh, as you might have seen, they had defensive jungler that is an 0219 setup. I also take from my runes movement speed, uh, quintessences, attack speed marks. Armor, Seals, and Magic Resist for level Glyphs. That's pretty much the standard Udyr setup. It works with a number of junglers. The movement speed can be subbed out for uh, whatever else you'd like. Health, more attack speed if you want to clear a little bit faster. I love the movement speed just so you can get upon your opponents quicker. Your ganks are better, and Udyr's one weakness is that he can be kited uh, you know, pretty well. He has no actual dash. Of course, Bear Stance helps him move very fast. But any additional movement speed you have is very helpful. I am running Smite Flash. I almost never run anything else. Uh, I could understand Ghost being taken, but really Flash just helps you get away from a lot of situations. Bottom lane, we have Tristana and Alistar. That is a very strong setup. I think Atlanta's mainly been practicing with Janna, who's very strong, but when you line up with Tristana, you really want, you know, some extra beef in that front line because Tristana wants to jump on people. So that combination of, you know, headbutt pulverize into a rocket jump from Tristana and an ignite is just really dominant. I'm going to pick up Boots three pots here. <clears throat> and we are all going to get on our way. We have no intention to invade level one. We do have a decent level one invade team. Uh, if Morgana did take snare, Tristana took rocket jump. I took bear stance, hypothetically. Um, you know, even without that, pulverize and snare from Morgana, which are, you know, two frequent starting builds, would be enough to make our level one, you know, invasion pretty successful. I'm just gonna stand here. I feel like it's a pretty safe space, pretty safe place to stand. If I stand further up in the bush uh, over there, then I feel like, you know, they might be able to catch me. Uh, Morgana, of course, is doing her own little invasion. Uh, I laugh at them, and yeah, they just back out once they see Cassidy and come over here. They're going to help me pull. Um, I also tell Monkey Man that I would like a pull because he's just chilling at his turret. And most of the time, you know, they'll watch right around here, uh, make sure no one's sneaking in for my blue buff. I mean, it is really helpful when your teammates watch. Uh, otherwise, you get caught, and it's very embarrassing. Uh, but there is no invasion here. We're pretty safe, so I'm just going to take Phoenix. I'm going to run over to my wolves. One thing with Phoenix Dance is I prefer it over Tiger. I understand the merits of Tiger. Phoenix just helps with AoE clearing. Um, you want to align it so your AoE proc it has a criminal effect, hits all of them. I don't do a very good job of that in this video, um, and it does slow down my clear time a tiny bit. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. You can set all the wolves up if you stand over to the side, uh, so they'll all take the conal damage. I do not have that here. As you see, for the third hit, I think the two right uh, wolves might have taken it, but not the left one. <laughs> also, Morgana happened to get the experience from my big wolf with her tormented soil. That sucks for slower junglers, not so bad for Udyr. And I waited a second there, Blue Buff, because I was really hoping that I would get a pull from <laughs> from Wukong and, well, and Morgana, but I did not. Uh, so I'm set a little bit behind here in the sense that I've had to use both of my potions, and normally, you know, I don't have to use any. I think here I was like, oh, maybe I'll go in, harass Cassid in, but then I just decided to go forth and take my race. So I'm going to take them. You can alternate Phoenix Stance with Turtle Stance. What you want to do is make sure that your Phoenix Stance procs is third hit, because that's kind of like the big damage you get from it, um, and then switch over to Turtle Stance, of course, you know, keeping up your passive 
Uh, Monkey's Agility is a bonus as well, so it'll give you more attack speed. Uh, as you see here, I'm checking the golems. They are gone. Bottom lane took them. That's the usual thing, even after the patch. Any sort of healing lane down bottom can take them without, uh, without any trouble. So I didn't want to take red without smite, just because it takes a lot of time, makes me you know, take some extra damage, and I have no health potions left. But between Phoenix Stance and Turtle Stance, I'm not going to take too much damage. Here I'm not planning on going in for the gank, so I take another level of Phoenix, but then I look down bottom and realize, whoa, there's a lot of action going on. Uh, summoners are being blown on both sides, Corky flashes away. I come up through the back, just hoping I can you know, land an attack on someone, but everyone's flashing away. Um, Atlanta takes a couple of tower hits, and really if Tristana hadn't gotten it exhausted there, she probably had rocket jump off and could have taken the first kill. Um, but I am going to circle back around here. It's kind of unusual because they should have a ward right in that bush right over there. Um, I don't know if they do or not. Uh, one thing is I'm going to camp here because I don't expect them to have a bush here or a ward here. So Corky seems to be tentatively last hitting, but he is there. We are setting him up. He moves a little bit forward, and we all head in. I save my flash and just flash in after he Valkyries away, and then I'm able to take him down with the Phoenix stance and Tristana gets the Sona there with his rocket jump. So, big win. Four minutes in, we have two kills, including First Blood. You know, I'm healthy enough to go back into my jungle, and I'm going to continue you know, farming it, take down these small camps, which you know, I really shouldn't actually lose much hit, point, hit points from. It's one of those nice things about Udyr and Turtle Stance. So now I pick a bear. Now I'm ready to gank. <laughs> it's a little uh, you know, past time, but I'm ready now. Up top, Warwick ganks. Around four minutes, you have to be really careful um, for a purple side gank. Really, you have to worry if they take it at level two. You know, They might come up for a quick level two gank with a red buff. And then at four minutes, if they're taking the blue to red, um, around four minutes is probably when they'll get to your lane and go for a gank. So they did go for the gank up there. It wasn't too successful. Wukong's still alive. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep taking these small minions. Now I'm trying to position so my cone effect hits more of them. You know, I'm not certain how great a job I did, but I'm going to head back with a lot of gold, and I'm going to choose to pick up a recurve bow here. A lot of people would go for level 2 boots, and you see me hovering over it. I was considering that as well, but I figure recurve bow is really going to speed up my clear time. I'm going to stay ahead of this Warwick. You know, I already have one kill up on him, uh, one assist. So I've got a lot of gold, and now I can you know, hope to counter jungle. I don't really know where I'm going here. I think I probably wanted to go top. Rumble is pushed, but he's so far out of the way, and that's a disadvantage of being on blue side, is top lane ganks are difficult because they're so far away from everything except blue buff. And if you get blue buff first, then you go back and you get blue buff at 7 minutes, and at that time you don't have red buff anymore. So really your gank wouldn't be too worthwhile. Morgana, as you see here, is a... You know, pretty successfully counter jungling just by stealing all those race and is going to pick up a kill on Cassidy, who thinks they got away. Uh, I was going to go in and tank some hits if I needed to, but I did pick up some extra experience, so that's very nice. Got my level, level 5, and I'm going to drop off this ward because I know in about a minute, maybe two minutes, that blue buff should be up. And I probably was spotted by a number of the opposition's wards. I don't really care at this point. I think I can get away. Yeah, I got my bear stance, I got my shield, through turtle stance, and I'm just going to run around and continue clearing out my jungle. But yeah, right now what I'm doing is, you know, expecting or kind of predicting where war werewolf is. I say care top, he's not there, he's middle, and so I say never mind, I was wrong. Um, but, you know, that seemed to be where it made sense for him to be at that point in that upper jungle. Um, you know, ganking top. Whereas for me, it doesn't make sense because the only real thing I would be going for is my wolves. Whereas he has golems up there, he has red buff spawning relatively soon, so he should be up in his upper jungle. Looks like Wukong is having trouble top, does get killed by that ignite. Um, meanwhile, bottom is beginning to dominate. 3 1 and kills, pretty close. Wukong is our only losing person. Like I said, I can't really go up there and help him just because it's so far out of the way. At this point, you know, at 720, I'm going to hand off my blue buff to Morgana. Uh, Tristana picks up a kill down there, and Cassidy's going to roam. But I'm going to give this to Morgana, and she's going to take some more of my little minions with her Tormented Soil. I don't like that, but <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and I just pull out my health potion because I'm down to about two-thirds life, and I don't have anything to lifesteal off of right now. 
So that is why having a, a health potion does help, and you know, I'll be back to full life pretty soon here, uh, not just via the health potion, but that in combination of turtle stance and getting these uh, little sigils from the big creeps in the in the camps as well. Um, one recent change is you now get mana from big creeps. It doesn't really help, you know, really mana intensive junglers like Skarner, for example. For Udyr, though, it does make it a little less painful to give away blue, but Udyr was always pretty fine without blue. Uh, here I'm going to take down red, but I'm not going to use my smite. And my reasoning here is I want to steal the other blue, which I see has come up. Um, so I just take him down, you know, swapping between turtle stance and phoenix stance. Thinking about going after these golems, but I see Morgana's been giving Warwick a lot of, you know, a lot of attention up there, a lot of loving, stealing some of his wraith, and he heads up towards his red buff. So he's heading towards his red. I know that he's not near his blue. I still have my smite. I'm very excited about taking this blue, so I do run into it. It's a pretty safe steal. Uh, Morgana isn't in a place to protect me, for, but at the same time, I do have smite up. Uh, Kassadin's not super strong, so even though they might have known I was there, I took it pretty quick. You know, get my level, get my blue buff, and down bottom, there's an, advantage, you know, an opportunity for another